there are a few common retaining pins and clips that typically go through a hole in the end of a shaft or spindle to keep a wheel or a bearing from sliding off the end of the shaft. There are several types of common retaining pins. The one most people are familiar with is the cotter pin, which is used in fairly low stress applications. They move up a notch to something a little bit uh, more robust, such as this hitch pin clip, which, oddly enough, goes right in the end of a hitch pin, and uh, this is typically used to uh, hold a uh, receiver hitch to a, a trailer hitch, and then the clip goes through to keep the hitch pin from sliding out. Your strongest retaining pins are your link pins. And these are clever little devices. They have this spring steel ring that's connected to a heat treated steel pin. And this of course goes into the end of the, uh, the shaft or the spindle to retain the wheel bearing or whatever else it might be. These are really strong. The pin goes right through the hole in the end of the spindle or the shaft and then the spring locks right over the end of the shaft so it doesn't fall out. Lynch pins are much stronger than a cotter pin or a hitch pin clip. A one quarter inch lynch pin like this one will typically have a shear strength of about 3600 pounds. A 5 16 inch pin will have a shear strength of about 5700 pounds and a 7 16 inch pin like this one will have a shear strength exceeding 11,000 pounds. This makes them ideal for use with heavy duty agricultural three point hitch type of equipment. Most typically they're put through a hole in the end of a shaft to hold something in place. And here what you see is the um, the lift pin on this piece of equipment that goes through the ball socket on the trailing arm and the lynch pin goes through the hole in the end of that lift pin and holds everything together. Here the lynch pin is going through the hole on the end of a hitch pin so that this uh, hitch pin can hold the top link in place without pulling out. Here we have a pin that's keeping the lid closed on a tractor mounted toolbox. Lynch pins have many applications, and if you're creative, you can probably figure out a few other ones. For instance, here we have a hasp and eye. We put the pin through, snap it shut. Not as secure as a padlock, but it still does the job. You'll also note that these have a brass or coppery type finish, even though they're made from carbon steel. The finish is the result of a zinc dichromate electroplating process. The zinc forms corrosion byproducts that significantly reduce the corrosion rate of ferrous metals. They form a protective barrier on the metal surfaces and they help keep out moisture which can significantly reduce the speed of the corrosion process. In effect giving the zinc treated surface the ability to resist corrosion by a factor of almost 100 to 1 as compared to untreated steel surfaces. The zinc acts as a sacrificial coating that protects the steel so that it does not corrode as quickly. In other words, the zinc coating will always tarnish and corrode first, thus protecting the steel. The dichromate coating is a two-step process. First, Metal is plated with zinc and then it's plated with a dichromate finish. Here's as a coppery brass or yellow finish that adds an additional layer of protection. 